Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org uh, and our IT tools on our YouTube channel. Now we are going to be adding a new video after portable network scanner and we also share the space sniffer. Today we are going to be sharing another tool that is called SafePad. Uh, this could be uh, used by anyone, let's say for example you have a lot of uh, passwords or username that, that that you basically type in these are like let's say Cisco um, phone admin sites that are local on in internal network there's other let's say help desk other things that you type in the password sometime and usually you, you don't save it uh, so there's uh, many passwords that you need, need to remember now of course people can say oh you know we can use password manager or some kind of um, good tool that everybody can use that that's a different tool so I'm trying to basically show something different here that you can also use a very simple very small portable tool that I think uh, you can put it on network also and people can just use their own files or you can also share one password and everybody can access that like IT guys or if you let's say are home users you can also use it for encrypting your uh, username and password for uh, you know things like sensitive information so you can read about it uh, the way to install this is just down click on download it's a zip file like I said it's a portable tool so you'll open the zip file extract that right click on it extract extract here and then it will open another uh, uh, folder like this and this is what it will you'll see safepad.exe now you can like I said share this on a network and everybody can access it and make their own files so I can say double click on this and then it will open like a notepad type of um, window. As you can see you can do a lot of things with it. For example you can put a site in here. Um, you can type the site and then in the username and whatever the format you want to follow you can just do it by this and make like you know a lot of username and passwords. Uh, ability there is ability to do the search in there so you can go ahead and do that generate password help um, a lot of things you guys can do in this to, to kind of quickly find your information. Now, uh, again, you'll put the password and whatever you want to put in here. But the main thing about this is that when you save it, let's say, for example, I would like to uh, save as, and this is where it will ask you to give the password. It says stage one. So let's see, we're going to give a password. So it will tell you if your password is good or is it medium or is it good is it weak so it will give you that it will give you a few prompts to create your uh, encryption encrypted password so you see that um, on stage one stage one and stage two it's done if it's a weak password it's not gonna let you do it quickly so make sure you give it a good password so for example if I just uh, go ahead and uh, put it in the same folder my save document now what will happen is if I close this right now and no one can actually access that without knowing that password so that's pretty cool you see right here it's a document right here I know this is my document I have some important information in there and when I log into my computer, maybe someone can actually steal this from my computer through network. So still, they won't be able to do it because they don't have the password. So um, if I click on it, you see it's encrypted. Uh, so the way to get to it, you just need to open your safe pad again. And all you got to do is to click on file and load. And here you just click on my safe pad. And there you go. It asks you for the password. So now I need to give it a password. Boom, and there you go. So that was tool for today. Um, you can think of your own scenarios, how you can use it. Um, I like to use it because sometimes even if you have full password manager, you know, installed on your computer, sometimes you have some internal uh, links that you have created or you're running some softwares and, you know, four or five and you just can't keep up with the passwords because you created it for testing and you, it's not in the real system. So it's good to just keep this. It's very easy and then saves you from a lot of stress, right? So thank you for watching this and see you guys in a different video.